hi everybody and welcome to TWS Superstars and for some reason Lord Zed's in the ring. Why am I in the ring? Lord Zed says. Let me explain why I'm in the ring. Because I been besmirched. Where am I at in the scheme of things? I have been in the Toy Wrestling Federation for at least give or take one, two, close to maybe two, man, one, two, about three years before that. Then I've been here from like, what, let's see, um, I don't know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Close to seven years from this December, it'll be seven years. And I was a one time, I was a multi time TWF, you know, World Heavyweight Champion and TWF World Heavyweight Champion. I was once the second, I was once the third heel general manager or commissioner, or term, let's say, of the Toy Wrestling Federation. And at one point, I was the former commissioner of the Toy Wrestling Federation. But, where am I at? I want to know something, Lord Zed says, and I want to know now. How come people like me and Aries got the shaft? I mean, you saw Aries out once or twice. I mean, he had his, what, his tag, his tag team matching with who? You know, like with who, you know, um, with Ted DiBiase, and then got beat up by the shield and never see him again. But seriously, I want to know why we got the shaft. And I want to know how come certain people in the back get treated so badly. You know what I'm talking about. Talented wrestlers, talented action figures and adventure dolls, they get, well, how do I put it, be smirched by smucks. They get, you know, be smirched by smucks. I want to know where I stand. I want to know where I'm at. And I want answers. I want an explanation to why I have not been used lately. Somebody better come up with a good explanation to explain why I was only in the Battle Royal, why I was only in the Royal Rumble, and why I have not been used or seen ever since. But I know. But I know how the Toy Wrestling Federation operates like Lord Dead said. I have been here as I explained folks. I was originally here my first run. So I know how shit runs. shit runs. I know how things go down. Excuse me, but this is not Lord Zed rant out. This is the Toy Wrestling Federation Superstars. And if you want an explanation to why you haven't been used lately, well, let's see, Lord Zed. You abused your power when you were the Hill General Manager. You abused your power when you were the Commissioner. 
that's why you haven't been used lately. But since you're here, and you want to make a name for yourself, well then why do so? You can burst John Cena. So we're going to see Lord Zed burst John Cena here. And it looks like we can get John Cena's theme music. adjustment. Oh, we ain't seen you since. But all of a sudden now you come back out of the woodwork, Lord Zed. You're, you're complaining about talented action figures and dolls. Lord Zed, I hope you weren't referring to yourself in that equation. We all know how untalented you are. I mean, you tried to beat the Power Rangers for about, oh my god, close to two years. Monster after monster gets sent out. Plan after plan, each one of them failed miserably. So you couldn't defeat the Monty Morphin Power Rangers and you tried for two years. So what really makes you think that you are a talented wrestler, you put it? John. You're the smuck. You're an untalented one. You're the one that holds everybody back. So, you're gonna blame me for your misfortunes. You're gonna blame me for you abusing your power as the general manager at one point until Angel removed you from, until Angel fired you from that position. Then you're gonna blame, or blame me for you're abusing your commissionership when you were the commissioner when you wanted from Ernest P. Worrell and then you got fired by a drama. You take all the action for your own actions. I only be responsible for my own actions, not yours. I'm warning you. You want to find me? Oh! Lord Zed trying to miss. Oh! John Cena got Lord Zed up. Attitude adjustment. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, John Cena. John Cena went, oh God. Hey, there he says, maybe Lord Zed's on the sun. Because I haven't been used lately. And I certainly want to put myself in that equation for the bell. Well, you did a good job taking out Lord Zed. I never liked the guy to begin with. 
Um, he made me do all kinds of stupid, dumb passes when I was the director of operations. But regardless of that, John, you did a good job beating him up. But let's see if you can beat up the European Greek God of War. Let's see if you can do that to me. Well, John Cena says, you, you really want me to have to wrestle you twice? Do I really have to wrestle twice? Aries, if you want to fight John Cena, it's on. Uh, Tilly Herman first made the John Cena Lord Zed match. And Gabrielle made the Aries John Cena match. Oh, Aries trying to come out to John Cena. Attitude adjustment. One, two, three. Ding, ding, ding. Here is your winner, John Cena. The hold on, folks. Hold on. Because I have some stuff to get off my chest here. Now, there are going to be some people who are going to say, John, you asshole. You just buried Lord Zed and Ares. Okay, Lord Zed and Ares are members of the United Alliance of Evil. Well, they used to be, they were on, they were off, I don't know. It's so confusing because one point somebody tells me they are members and they're not, then they are and they're not. It's so confusing. But at this point in time, Lord Zed and Ares are members of the United Alliance of Evil. And it's up to members of the United Alliance of Good to beat those members of the United Alliance of Evil. It just happens to be, I just happen to be the man who was picked for the job. Now, you people are going to say that I buried a lot of talented action figures and dolls and whatever. No. I didn't bury anyone. I know there's going to be some people who say, John, you bury everything. They're going to say, you ruin everything. They're going to say, John, you abused this privilege. You violated that. They're going to say, but then they really don't have that many proof or evidence to back up what they say. They think that I buried wrestlers because I won. But what these people don't remember is, how, think about all the freaking times I lost. Okay, I lost to The Rock at WrestleMania 28. Okay. I lost to CM Punk on multiple occasions, including the Money in the Bank match. So, don't tell me that I don't lose. And don't tell me I don't put people over. I put The Rock over during your second run. I put CM Punk over. And I've lost a shitload of matches as much as I've won. For people saying I abuse my creative privilege, Where's the evidence? Where's the proof? Okay. I know that I ain't gonna win everybody over. And not everybody's gonna like you. And then they want me to be healed. They're like, life would be great if John, if John Anthony Phillips Cena would be healed. Well, I have a, this is basically what would happen. I turn heel, the same people who hate me would go on hating me, only to say, I don't like John Cena, he's doing the same thing, but he's a heel now. So, they're not going to change their mind about me if I did turn heel for the second time. That's all I got to say. And a lot of people don't know that I started out like everyone else. 2007 AD, I showed up. A shitty ass, a smile on my face, wearing blue jeans, and uh, bizarre, weird shoes. There I am. I got the same jeans, only now I got the green wristband. 
And I'm probably going to eventually get up and take virgin myself with the, with the orange pants. Whatever. That's all I got to say. People like me, hate me, that's fine. But Lord Zedonaries got beat because they were members of the United Alliance of Evil and members of the United, United Alliance of Evil deserve to get buried. Woo! Okay, that's all everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Superstars. Two matches today, most likely involving John Cena. And we'll see you tomorrow for NXT.